Learn Japanese to survive kanji combat. Let's just go into the new game and see what happens. Oh boy, this is exciting. I haven't streamed a game in a long time. Welcome to Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji Combat. This game is designed to be an introductory course to learning Japanese kanji. That's exciting. The Japanese writing system is divided into three parts, of course. Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. <clears throat> you don't need to understand Hiragana and Katakana before playing this game. Is that so? But if you're interested in learning them, please take a look at the other games in the Learn Japanese to Survive series. That's a little concerning. I was hoping that maybe the kanji would be the readings. I'm wondering if this game is just going to be the meanings. That's a little disappointing if that's the case. If you do have knowledge of the hiragana and katakana writing systems, you will have an advantage with the learning material in this game. Oh, that's good news. Select your difficulty level. Ooh. Okay, so... This can be changed at any time, so normal mode is no knowledge of Japanese required. I'm going hard mode, man! You have selected hard mode. In this mode, you must understand hiragana. You can learn kanji using hiragana readings. Start the game in hard mode. Yes, let's start. Oh my god. Now, get ready for your exciting adventure. I'm excited. Are you excited? It says it's an exciting adventure, so it has to be, right? Drinks in Japan, they always say, Oishi. Oh, Oishi, they're delicious drinks, right? And they're always delicious, right? They're never wrong, ever. So, I believe them. Here we go. What? What time is it? Okay. This music is very... Uh, I don't know. Very interesting. What time is it? I think it's still pretty early. Sure. Oh, my phone! Ash. Hey, it's me again! Sorry to message you so early. Weird face. Wanted to show you something cool I found. I have three other messages in my duckling messenger. Here you go. Oh. What is it? I guess I wrote that message. Sweet. Competition! LOL. Like, we could win, bro. Oh my god. But is it worth a go, right? But it's worth a go, right? I can never resist the competition. I feel like I read something wrong there. Anyway. Hmm, what's the prize? Ah, it was like we could win. Hmm, what's the prize? I should have mentioned the prize first. Haha, <laughs> you'll freak out. Serious! Mike might be a tad high, says Dan. Let's. Oh, my gain is all the way up. Okay, hold on one second. How's that? I need you to. Is that the gain is really high or low? I'm not really sure because it doesn't say low on this thing. Is this better? Or is this better? Please tell me. I'm not sure which is low and which is high. So this is number one. This is number two. What is it, what is it, what is it? Number one or number two? I'm just gonna wait and dance out to this music until you guys tell me. Number one. Number one is the way to go. Low. It's better audio. Let's just check over here. I'm going to turn that up. Yeah. Okay. Number one is the way to go. Thank you, guys. Sorry for that little hiccup. I should have mentioned the prize first. Ha! You'll freak out. Serious. Win a trip to Japan. Oh, my God. Dude, come to Japan. Are you in this video game? Maybe 1.5 split the difference. I'll just get a little bit closer. How cool is that? All expenses paid. Um, I guess this game is an advertisement for Come to Japan Dan. Who knew? He's running a competition for people to come to Japan for free too. <coughs> uh, though, one catch. <laughs> Sorry. What's the catch? It's a study trip! Oh no. The company flies you there, but then you have to study Japanese for three months! Oh no, that sounds so awful. Anyway, I thought it'd be something you'd like. Here's the link. It sounds great. I'll apply right away. I didn't even look at it. Nice, happy to help. Let me know if you win. Haha, <laughs> good luck. Wait, Ash doesn't want to do this too with me? I thought we were doing this as a team, Ash. What, you're just bailing now? <sighs> Ash. Karen, right? A free trip to Japan sounds pretty good, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, time to click this link. Click. Let's see here. 
And we go straight to Dan's YouTube channel, right? It's a standard application form. I can do this. Wow, this game is so exciting. Wow. Competition application. Welcome. Thank you for your interest in this competition. Duckling browser, duckling messenger. What is this world? We are giving away four grand prizes. Each grand prize includes return flights to Japan as well as accommodation. In addition, a Japanese language teacher has been appointed to teach the winning applicants for three months. Wow. In order to win the great prize, please fill in the following details. Question, what country do you live in? Uh, Japan. Should I, should I put Japan? Or should I put America? I'm gonna put Japan, because that's where I live. See what happens, could be fun. Okay, confirm. So you live in Japan? Yes, continue. Please attach a photo of yourself. Um, no. I guess I'm the guy in the left. That's me. Is this the photo I want? Yes, continue. Dude, like, I have two pictures. One is me as a guy, one is me as a girl. And I just have to pick one. It's interesting. <laughs> and I can change my mind. Eh, that's cool. Hmm? Uh, Yuki wanted me to be a girl. I'm sorry. I'm reliable and honest. I'm active and fit. I'm serious about my studies. I'm determined and resilient. Determined and resilient? What do you guys think? Am I determined and resilient? Mm, serious about my studies? Not so much lately. Am I active and fit? I used to be. Am I reliable and honest? So-so. Eh, Probably determined and resilient. Let's go with that. <clears throat> so you would describe yourself as determined and resilient. Yeah, sure. We're nearly done with all the questions. Just one remains. What's your name? Alright. My normal game name is Rydell, but today we will go with Tokini Andy. Hijiki. Do we want to go with Hijiki? Tokini Andy. Why is it two words there? We'll go with Tokini Andy. Why not? Or Hijiki. My my newest character in WoW is Hijiki, and I have Hijiki, the, you know, the, what is it, seaweed. His hair looks like seaweed. That was fun, but we'll just say, we'll just say Andy. So your name's Andy. Yeah. Thank you for answering all our questions, no problem. I should confirm my details before submitting. Yes, yes, it's correct. Boom. My application is complete. The winners of this competition will be announced very soon, so I'm not an expert at kanji yet. That's, that's disappointing. We'll let you know if you're the winner. Good luck. Well, all that's left to do now is wait and see if I win. I hope they let me know soon. A message? At this time of night? What is it? What is it? Unknown number. Dear Andy, congratulations! You've been selected as one of the four winners of the Study Abroad in Japan competition. Wow, that was fast. We hope you're excited to join us in Japan and begin studying with your new teacher, Hana-sensei! Yosh! Incredible! I actually won the Come to Japan Dan competition. But I'm already here. This is so exciting. I better read the rest of the message carefully. Man. Chapter one. We're finally started and we've lost all our viewers. Woo. So this is the city I'll be living in for the next three months. Okay. Yes, it is. I guess I have a voice. It's fairly lively around here. Japan certainly is a busy country. Super busy. Look at all those people. Wow. Boom. Okay. Time to head out and find where I'll be taking my classes. Great voice acting. The information brochure said the school should be right across the road from uh -huh. the hotel. The school's right across the road from the hotel. That's convenient. I don't have to walk anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, is that it over there? There's a few people gathered around outside. Yep, they definitely had a big budget for the voice acting. Good news. Yeah, should be exciting. So I said to him, I said, you're lucky you win this round. I'll be back to win next time. Oh my goodness. What are they talking about, energetic boy? And that's it. That's the full story on how I lost a video game, game tournament, tournament to a six-year-old. Six pretty embarrassing. Wow, huh? that is that is that's pretty embarrassing. Pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Gloomy boy. I can't believe it. Cheerful you girl. He entered a tournament meant for kids. He entered a tournament meant for kids. Okay. What? What can I say? 
I've got youthful features. Ah, he looks like a child. Got it. Good game. Oh, hello there. Are you the other competition wow, winner? Wow, she looks really excited to see me. Sounds really excited to see me. You look lost. You must be the one we're this guy British? Gloomy Boy's British? That does not sound like him at all. Um, I won the competition to study abroad here. That doesn't sound like me at all place? either. Am I at the Yeppers. right place? You sure are. Thanks for Yeppers. My name is Frederick. I'll be your host today. Okay. Game audio going up. All right. Yeppers. You sure are. Thanks for joining us. My name's Frederick. I'll be your host today. My favorite word is yeppers. Oh, Frederick. You tried pulling that trick on me when I arrived. It didn't what trick? work, remember? Ah, host, right. You believed me a little bit. <laughs> How's that? Game I introduced audio okay myself now? as your teacher, Frederick Sensei. All right. Frederick Sensei. Yeah. Yeah, but... We all received an email stating that our teacher will be someone called Hana Sensei. Hana Sensei. Yeah. Remember? I remember. Do you remember? I remember. I see. I've been outwitted once again. I've been outwitted once again. Oh, look. His facial features changed. Look at those amazing graphics. Hey, newbie. Never mind Frederick's sense of humor. I'm the newbie? I'm glad you're here. Didn't we all come here on the same day? How am I the newbie? I'm Priya, by the way. Priya. And this is Elliot. Like Prius? And Elliot. Hey. Hey. We're not together or anything. I just introduced him. What? Nothing going on between us. Something's definitely going on between them. It's, it's a given, right? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. Did he just get friend zoned? She sounded way more embarrassed than she was trying to make and it friend And I'm Frederick, zone. but you probably already remember that from 60 seconds ago. Nope, totally forgot, Fred. I do remember that. It's nice like. to meet you. What's your name? It's good to meet you all. Will this be our entire Amandy. class? I'm Andy. Yeah, I guess. There were four winners of the competition. Love that British Pretty small accent. class. Definitely Should an American guy advantage. doing it. <clears throat> exactly. I'm so excited to get started. So I've wanted to learn Japanese since I was, like, fairly, fairly young. young. Oh, my goodness. So did I, actually. I don't remember why. Uh, yeah, whatever. All my fave fashion vlogs are in Japanese. All my fave I fashion have to vlogs learn are it. in Japanese. I have to learn Wait. Never mind. I don't, I don't even want to get into that. My favorite fashion blogs are in Japanese, so I have to learn them to read it. But how are they your favorite fashion? I guess the pictures? Me too. I gotta learn it so I can watch all the anime. All the anime. I all just of entered it. the competition on a whim. Seemed like a good chance to get away from home. He entered the competition on a whim. Seemed like a good chance to get home. away from home. But his t-shirt literally says, like, nin, as in ninja. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to get started I too. Right through I you. traveled all the way here from my country. <laughs> Where did you guys come from? I'm excited to get started too. I traveled all the way here from Japan to Japan. Where did you guys come from? Sweden. Sweden. You ever been there? It's great. Nope. You need to come visit me. Have any of you well, ever been there? When we're back home. Has anyone watching this ever been to Sweden? I would love to go to Sweden. It's probably awesome. Because I'm here now, and so are you. So there's no need to visit me in Sweden, right? Nope, no need to visit you in Sweden, Frederick. Yep. My goodness, this guy. She I've come was... over from India. I what? have to say, I'm having a bit of a challenge adjusting to things here. It's different from home in nearly every way. Her voice is literally like the same emotion the entire time she's speaking, just like mine. Hey, Elliot, where are you from? You never told me in Pre Pre. Pre Pre! Pre Pre? England. England. Right course. on. Tea and crumpets all day, every day. That's racist. I was going to guess you're from England because of your accent and the flag sticker on your luggage. Well, and I saw your passport, too. Dude. Stalker. Sheesh. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting class. <laughs> <laughs> so, when's the game start? Minasa. Good afternoon, everyone. What? what? Seriously? <laughs> the challenger approaches. The challenger approaches. Oh, you must be Hana Sensei. Hana Sensei. Yes, I am. Welcome to Japan. Welcome to Japan. It's totally pre pre. I'll be your teacher during your time here. You're se not only that, I'll also be your guide to the country. I'll also be your guide if to the country. If you have any questions, please ask me. You can. I'm rely relying on, on you, Hana. Oh my God. That's the first I time she actually sounded excited. Your shoes. You have to tell 
tell me where you bought them. My god. So, when does the game start? Oh, I, um, I absolutely adore, adore your, your face. face. It's, it's such Guy's a great face. Guy's got some lines. Tell, tell me more about it. All right. I absolutely adore your face. Calm down, Frederick. Don't be creepy. Be creepy. Yep. What is call. going on here? <laughs> no trouble, no trouble. <laughs> so it looks like you're all here. We are all here. We've got you, Elliot, We've got you. Priya, and Frederick Why does all everyone present? else get their That's names? That's wonderful. Subarashi desu. Subarashi desu. This person in Japanese. Shall I introduce you to your new classroom? Is, is, our, is our classroom a person? Um, we're, we're actually, actually studying, studying inside a, a real classroom. What? I thought this was going to be more of an informal thing. Oh, Elliot, don't be a yes, baby. Yes, of course. The school is packed with spacious classrooms. Packed with spacious ca classrooms. Wow. I see. Classrooms bring back bad, bad memories. memories. Elliot. Poor Elliot. <sighs> I'll be, I'll be fine. fine. Please, Dude, what sensei. happened to Continue. this guy in classroom? Okay, if you're sure. This way, everyone. Come, Come right, right over. Come right over. Sumimasa. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I apologize a monk. for stepping in. A monk? Way. Isn't he wearing Please, overalls? Go ahead. He's wearing overalls. No, I guess that's a monk outfit. Wait, one moment. Are you all students? Are you all students? Dude, I'm pretty sure that this monk is just Elliot. Yeah, we're going to learn Japanese. Woo! Ah, most, most excellent. excellent. Learning, Learning is, is a noble, noble pursuit. pursuit. Would you be okay. interested in offering a prayer in return for good luck in your studies? Would we be interested in offering a prayer? A okay. prayer? Yes. There is a, a small, small shrine, shrine nearby. nearby. It would only take a moment. Are we going to a shrine now? Okay. It's going to be my first video. By paying your respects at the shrine, uh -huh. you are sure to be blessed with good right. fortune in your learning pursuits. Oh, awesome. That's actually a really good idea. Is it? I haven't been to the shrine for quite some time. Me neither. It would be nice to visit. It would be nice. Let's go. Uh, I love very shrines. Good. Thank you for accommodating the wishes but of this But why is the monk sending monk. us to a shrine and not a temple? I'm a little confused about this. Please, follow me. We're going to follow this you. Way. This isn't Ayashi at all. He's definitely not trying to induct us into a cult. Definitely not. Definitely not. Wow! A real Dude, Japanese shrine! where's the shrine. game? How cool! My first impressions so far are that the voiceovers are maybe two people? Two people? It's a trap. It's definitely a trap. Something's gonna happen here. Anyway. It is pretty impressive. Yeah. Though, I don't know how this prayer thing works. How does this prayer thing work? I tell you what, there's a link probably somewhere on this page to a video that tells you just how to pray to shrine. It's, it's actually my video. Ho ho! I'm sure the muzzle this game is like an advertisement it. for me and It would be nice Dan. to get some good fortune for our studies! Yeah, let's get some good fortune! Please, line up in front of the offering box. Oh man, he, does, he doesn't sound creepy at all. Now, throw a coin into the offering box. I need to like make a highlight of this and make it into the new how to pray at a Japanese shrine video. Next, bow, bow twice, twice then, then clap, clap your, hands your hands twice. twice. Oh my god, it's it's a how to pray at a Japanese Keep shrine. Keep your hands video. together after clapping. Huh? Huh? I know. Keep your hands together after clapping. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and, and imagine, imagine your prayer, prayer in your inside mind. your mind. Finally. End, End the prayer, prayer with another, another bow. Man, this monk sounds scary. The prayer is done, and the blessing is this, complete. This monk has got to be a bad guy, right? I mean, even his name is in dark red. You may now open your eyes. Uh-oh. I'm a little nervous. What's going to happen? Uh! Rain? The sky was clear just seconds ago. I knew it! The monk's the bad guy. Elliot's name is also red. He must be a bad guy too. Huh? Where'd the monk, Where did go? the monk go? Oh boy. My shoes are getting soaked! Let's, Let's get, get under cover. cover! I have a very Who cares about your shoes, about Priya? This. We just entered a secret. What's the name of that movie? Spirited Away World. What's going on? I don't know, Frederick. Calm down, everyone. We'll hold oh, at least our teachers here. 
The school will still be there when we get back. Nope, nobody's gonna question why it's just suddenly pouring rain after they open their eyes. Oh no! These shoes were so Nobody cares about your shoes, Priya. Guess all we can do is wait around. Guess so, Elliot. Uh, what a what bore. A bore. Just like you. What on earth? The city. The city is gone. The entire city is gone. Alright. It's interesting. Evil monk has transported us to a the shrine is still here. World. But where are the other buildings? It's the same question, right? Maybe we just got turned around. Yep. The city can't have gone far. Yep. Everyone, uh, take a look around. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. We got turned around. The city just went somewhere. That's what happened. Let's Patrick, go find it like no a lost good. dog. Look ahead. There's just nothing. <laughs> All the way Adam to the Hera, what the? Yeah, I Just agree. Grass and what trees. The? Just grass and trees. Oh my god. Uh, spoilers. Apparently, we get transported to another world. Are we dreaming? Are we there was dreaming? a bustling dreaming. city here just a few hours ago. A few hours ago? How long have we been in this world? This story's I going a little dreaming. weird. Something bad has happened here. Something bad. Things got weird as soon as we made that prayer. We made the prayer, yeah. Disappeared. Then the weather and So wait, we've changed. been here for hours, and you're just figuring this out, Hana Sensei. I'm losing my trust in you. Something evil is afoot. Yeah, yeah. You think? Speaking of evil, Priya, look out! Your shoes. Oh, did the game start? What is that creepy thing? I guess the kanji for tree is creepy. Poor tree. Huh? huh? Everyone get back! It's trying to attack us! Really? The kanji's trying to attack us. How do you know that, me? Oh, that's me. Never mind. Where did it even come true. from? And why, why does it, does it resemble, resemble Japanese kanji? kanji? That's a good question, Hana. It's a monster, right? A real-life monster! That's and a does monster? anyone have any ultimate skills? Does anyone have any ultimate skills? Frederick, my friend. Uh question to all you viewers out there when you're in danger and being attacked is the first thing you're gonna ask the people around you does anyone have any ultimate skills I don't know that's Frederick's question Frederick not the time to choke around get back I guess it was a joke I wasn't the only one that thought that was funny Hana sensei the signal thing looks like a Japanese kanji can you read it oh Elliot He's in his element now. Him and his ninja t-shirt. Yeah, of course. It's the kanji for tree. It's the kanji for tree. All right. Tree? Great. Great. But, what, but does... what good does that do us? It's a good question, Priya. What are you thinking, Elliot? Did you not get it? Did you never hear the story of the Katakana War? No, I've never heard the story of the Katakana War, though I did play it for 10 minutes. Is, is this like a story that everyone knows about? I do remember, remember that. that. It happened, around five, it years happened ago. around five years ago. All right. Well, that definitely answers my question from earlier. This is a continuing story, I guess. Come to Japan says for sure the first thing I would ask. Dan, what's your ultimate? Adam, Yuki, what are your ultimates? My ultimate is I just cough on everything, probably. At least for now. Cool war story and all, but oh. we don't need a history lesson right now. Really, Frederick? Really? Thanks for all your help. Frederick is clearly the helpful one here. Hana Sensei, during the Katakana War, mm -hmm. there were strange monsters like this that looked like Japanese letters. Really? Okay. And you wanted to come to Japan? They were defeated by striking them and calling the true names. Really? This is like big news. This is an interesting world we're entering. That must be, be their pronunciation. Oh, I like this. This means we're actually going to learn some pronunciation for kanji. This could be fun. Thanks, Elliot. That's jogged my memory. I've That's got an idea. That's jogged your memory? I feel like if you knew this, you would know this. Sonic Boom is my ultimate. <laughs> what am I watching, says Adam Hara. You are watching the game called Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji Combat. And you know about as much as, about, you know about as, much about as I do. So yeah, let's see what it is. The kanji for tree can be pronounced as ki. Ki. That's just one way to pronounce it. That's just one way let's to pronounce see if it, it works. though. 
We're gonna see if saying key kills this tree. Take this. Han Hannah, you, you need a little bit more enthusiasm there. Take take this. I don't think that's gonna work. Whoa! Yes! Nice one! A critical hit! A critical hit! Hannah's done this before. <sighs> what a relief. Yeah, thanks for your help, Elliot. That was amazing, Hana-sensei! And Elliot, how did you know about that katakana war thing you mentioned? How would you not know about this katakana war thing you mentioned if it was actually a thing? I can't answer. I can't see chat. That's... Um, that's not important. It's not important. Don't worry about that. Wait, what? What? Was Elliot in the katakana war? What's going on here? I'm intrigued. The story is getting very interesting. Regardless, thank you for your help, Elliot. You're so welcome, Hannah. I Hana. wouldn't have figured out how to beat that monster without your help. Hannah, if you knew about the Katakana War, but you couldn't figure out how to beat a kanji monster, but you did after Elliot mentioned the Katakana War, I'm a little confused. I'll mention it. So, so mention are we safe now? Nope. There may very well be more of those monsters lurking around. Has everyone forgotten that we are also in a different world, apparently? If the kanji monsters can be defeated with Japanese uh -huh. knowledge, then maybe I should start teaching you a thing or two. You should do that, Hana. A thing or three would be nice, actually. It would be best if we're all able to fight them. Yeah, that would be helpful. Or we could just let you do it. We'll just Let's just hide behind Elliot. Actually, Frederick, Frederick. Let's just send Frederick after him. We can use the shrine <laughs> as a temporary classroom. Uh -huh. Since it seems to be the only building still standing. Uh-huh. What do you say? Yeah, do, do I have a choice here? Mori. Let's do it. If we learn enough Japanese to protect ourselves ahead of yourselves, from the kanji guys. monsters, then we can stay safe until we figure out what happened to the city. What if, like, the most difficult kanji pops out or something? Like a dingo or something. Sounds Screw like a solid them. plan. Yep, that's a solid plan. Let's hang out in a shrine, learn Japanese, and fight kanji monster. It's learning time. Frederick. No. I can't read. Oh, Ringo, right? Yeah. I can't even see that second one. It's so tiny on that screen. Okay, in order to defeat any more kanji monsters that appears, you will need to start learning Japanese. Dude, I haven't even touched the keyboard yet. I guess this works out well since you came to Japan. To yes, this works out well. This is what I came to Japan for to be tri- Well, you know what? This probably is what a lot of people come to Japan for, and I guess I wouldn't be too against it. I just never guessed that I'd be teaching you in these circumstances. You didn't guess this, Hana? How could you not have? Anyway, let's start with a basic introduction of the Japanese language. All right. <clears throat> the Japanese writing system is composed of three different character sets. These are hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Yay. Hiragana is a basic set of characters. You can form any Japanese word using hiragana. You can, actually, yes. Usually, all sentences will contain words written in hiragana. Katakana is a set of characters used to write words of foreign origin, as well as the names of people and places. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, foreign people, and also it's used over like kanji when you're writing how to pronounce it. That's actually true. It's not used as often as hiragana, but it's still vital to understand and really a pain in the neck. She didn't say that, but <clears throat> last but not least is kanji. Just learn lemon. Thanks, Yuki. You're welcome. She says. Last but not least is kanji. Kanji are complex written characters that access picture symbols. They come from China. Oh, right. They're borrowed from Chinese, so you'll see many of the same kanji in both Japanese and Chinese. Though the meanings may vary. Good news. Our lesson will be focusing just on kanji, not hiragana and katakana. You're skipping some important stuff here, Hana. Are you sure that's safe? There was apparently a katakana war five years ago, so are you positive there's not going to be any katakana to fight here? Or are you in on it? There are, thousand, there are thousands and thousands of different kanji with the grand total reaching over 10,000. However, the vast majority of Japanese speakers are not familiar with that many. This is true, especially nowadays since you just type them in on your phone. Kanji are taught in schools and Japanese people continue learning all through life. That's not true. By the time they finish secondary school, a Japanese student will understand over 2,000 kanji. Are we going to understand over 2,000 kanji when this game is finished? 
Ooh. Each kanji character is written in a particular way. It can have more than one meaning and pronunciation, so you'll be taught these as well. My god, when do I get to fight kanji? We'll cover a small number of new kanji every lesson. Once you're getting the hang of things, we'll increase the lesson size so you can learn even faster. How do you know that, like, which kanji are gonna come to fight us? So, are you ready to begin? Here comes our first lesson. Yes, save our progress. Whoa, imagine if the game crashed and I had to go through all of that again? Welcome to your first kanji lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn five kanji characters pictured above. Ooh, awesome. Do they look complicated, everyone watching this? Don't worry, we'll get through them one by one. Here's our first kanji for the day. Mizu. The English definition is water. All right, practice writing Mizu on paper now. Try and match the order of pen strokes as shown in the animation. All right, so if we got to this point and I hadn't actually already learned, you know, a bunch of kanji and need to learn them, I guess at this point it would be a good idea to write the kanji on a piece of paper a couple times just to try and memorize it. There's better ways, but yeah. Do that, maybe? I don't know. Mizu is made up of four strokes. Continue, I don't need to see it again. To help you remember, here's a tip. Mizu, water. The shape of Mizu resembles water splashing out from a tap. Well, that's pretty cool. They give visual representations. That's neat. I like that. It's not a bad, not a bad thing. Like all kanji, Mizu has multiple pronunciations. The different types of pronunciations are called kunyomi, Japanese reading, and onyomi, sound reading. Kunyomi or Japanese reading is the way to pronounce kanji when they stand on their own. <laughs> the mizu. kunyomi for mizu is mizu. So when you see the kanji standing by itself, you read it as mizu. The other type of pronunciation is onyomi or sound reading. These pronunciations are adapted from Chinese and are used when a kanji appears in a word along with other kanji. A compound. Wow. Sui. It's not a bad lesson. The onyomi for mizu is sui. So when you see the kanji, mizu combined in a word with other kanji, you read it as sui. Let's see some examples to clarify the differences between kunyomi and onyomi pronunciations. I really want to fight some monsters, but let's just go through it. <clears throat> the kanji mizu appears in two different ways below. Mizu, water, and suiyobi, which is Wednesday. All right, cool. Example one. The kanji mizu appears on its own as res mizu, blah blah blah. Kanji 2 is suiyobi, Wednesday. The kanji sui appears in a compound with two other kanji. The reading changes, and mizu is pronounced as sui. The different readings and pronunciation for kanji are confusing at first. As you learn more kanji, the concept of kunyomi and onyomi will become easier to understand. This is true. If you have trouble memorizing the different readings, here's a tip! Focus on learning the English reading for each new kanji. Then, if possible, just memorize the kunyomi. I guess. When you become more familiar with kanji, you can return and learn onyami. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's summarize the information for our first kanji. Mizu, sui, written in four strokes. Uh, we're good. Continue. All right. Yep. Let's go through the next ones quickly. The next one is hi. Hi. Fire. Onyomi is ka. Sweet. Fire is the shape of fire. These examples are pretty cool. I wonder if all the kanji are going to have that. I wonder how many there are. I literally know nothing about this game. Continue. Here comes the next one. Oh, ki. That's the one we fought before. Ki. This one is read as ki or ko. And boku or moku for the onyomi. Sweet. You probably noticed this kanji has a lot of pronunciations. There are two kunyomi. Ki and ko. And two onyomi. Boku and moku. The pronunciation used in a sentence will differ depending on the context or meaning. It's exciting, right? It's a lot of information to throw at you if you've never seen kanji before. Practice learning all the different readings. Tree, wood, the shape of a of ki resembles a tree. That's true, and it also sounds a lot like tree. Uh, we're good. Let's keep going. Here comes the next kanji. Oh my god. Ishi. <clears throat> Ishi. Ishi. The onyomi is seki, shaku, and koku. Alright, I'm liking that they actually use the hiragana in here, so you're learning the readings and stuff. I might actually learn some stuff, because I'm not great at reading kanji. Um, I know the meanings of a lot of kanji, but the kunyomi onyomi, I feel like I might even learn something from this game, so that makes me happy. Ishi, the shape of ishi resembles a, ishi, resembles a stone resting below a cliff. That is true. 
Let's go on to the last one. Here comes the next. King. Kane. Kane. Kane, Kana, and King Kong. King Kong, King Kong. Sweet. This one means gold or money, and it looks like gold nuggets resting at the base of a mountain. Or under a roof, I guess. Sure. Sweet. So we got that, everyone. Everyone's good. We've all memorized these kanji, like, super fast. Sorry, I mean, this isn't exactly a lesson. I'm just playing through to check it out. But I like the lessons. There's been way too much talking in the beginning and not enough playing. But hey, what do we got here? The picture for Mizu. Yeah, it is actually cool. I like the picture thing. Yuki says, Kikori, kikori. Kono, hmm? Kono wa kino. Konoha. Konoha. Kinoha. Ah. Ah, konoha is... That's when it's red, konoha. I've never actually seen that. Okay. That's interesting. Cool. You now have five different kanji, along with their English meanings and their pronunciations. Well done. You guys are heroes. Kana. Janakte hana. Now that the lesson is over, I have a quiz. Oh my god, quiz already? I do hope you've been paying attention. Here we go. What's the English meaning of heat? That would be fire. Woohoo! Ding ding! What's the kunyomi of Mizu? Boom! What's the onyomi sound readings of Kane? King Kong! Sweet! What is the English meaning of Ishi? Boom! What are the kunyomi of Ki? Ki and Ko! Woohoo! What is the onyomi sound of Hi? Uh. Ka. Sweet. Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are on the way to mastering kanji. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. That wraps up our first lesson. What did you all think? It was a bit to take in, but I'll get the hang of it. It's been some time since I've studied. Wait, have you studied before, Elliot? It was easy peasy, Hana Sensei. Alright, that's some confidence, Priya. I got 5 out of 6 in the quiz. Not bad, right? No, that's not good at all, Frederick. You know, if you, you miss one of these in real life when we're fighting Kanji, we're gonna die, right, Frederick? <sighs> you all did really well. I'm very proud of my new students. Now, there's a pressing matter we need to attend to, you think? We need to venture out and find out what happened to the city. Yes. Not what happened to us. Why did the city disappear? And now, we are prepared for any kanji monsters we might encounter? I beg to differ. You just said there's 10,000 kanji and you taught us five, but we're ready for any kanji monsters we might encounter? It's a little suspicious, Hana. Prepared may be a little overconfident. That's, that's how I feel, Elliot. I feel like I should be Elliot, not Andy. Perhaps, still, we must proceed. Onward! Do I get to walk now? Yosh! Wow, this area is a lot more wild than I remember. We need to find out if the city is truly gone. I find it hard to believe that an entire city could just vanish. But couldn't we vanish? This direction is as good as any to start our search. Sure, why not? Andy, you and I will take the lead. You did well in our lesson, so I'm confident you'll be capable in battle against any kanji monsters we find. Aw, I think she likes me. Elliot, Priya, and Frederick, you should stay back. Hold this area in front of the shrine and keep it safe so we have somewhere to return to. Alright. Like where this is going. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble is approaching. That was fast. Do I get to walk or are we just going straight into battle? Yep. Nope. Don't even get to walk. Kanji monsters are weak to their own names. Just like people. This is Mizu. To defeat it, select the attack. Water Mizu. Alright, the aim of each battle is to defeat all the enemies on the screen. Dude, what am I doing? I am like, pumped. Welcome back! To damage kanji monsters, you need to hit them with their matching letter or character. Dude, seriously, what am I doing? When the command menu appears, use the arrow keys to select answer. Yep, or click. <clears throat> Alternate reading, sweet. Smash the enemy by selecting the answer Mizu. Um, what? Okay. What? Ah, I see. So I have to pick from this menu. 
Mizu Sui. And then I click him, I'm assuming. Mizu. Boom! Kicked his butt. Oh my goodness. And he's really strong. I'll take 15 yen. These guys carry money. Phew! Well fought, Andy. All right, kanji mom. Yeah, I wish we were catching the kanji. That would be fun. Here, take these drinks. This is ramune, a popular soda. If you're injured, be sure to use them to heal your wounds. I did not know that ramune was a healing, like a potion. We should buy more ramune. Obtain three ramune. Oh, and hold on to those too. These duck feathers can revive someone if they fall unconscious. Best to be prepared. What do you, tickle them? Duck feathers. That, it's gotta be it. You must tickle them. Now, it's time to continue forward. Be sure to defeat all the kanji monsters, monsters we encounter on the way. What if I want to, like, avoid them? Use the arrow keys and your keyboard to move. No, thank you. Go up, down, left, and right. Hold shift to run at high speed. Or click your mouse when you want to move. Blah, blah, blah. Hi. Hi. Alright. Use the save command. Yeah, I'll do that. The challenge begins. Um, oh, I can use WASD. When I tried the Katagana game, the WASD keys didn't work. And I had to, like... I had to, like, go into some weird file and edit code? JavaScript. I had to use JavaScript to try and use WASD with the kanji game. Ugh. So, this guy's fast. Ah, it must already have my settings from the Katakana game or something. Alright. Well, good news. We got a treasure box. Click it. 300 yen! Woo! Dan, you knew about the ramen thing? Man. That's why you're coming to Japan, Dan. What if I want to go this way? Guess that's not possible. Okay, the speed of these guys is ridiculous. I wish I could run this fast. I feel like we could just outrun all the monsters. Alright, so first impression so far... The story is more interesting than the Katakana War story was. I've only played it for 10 minutes, but still, it's a little bit more interesting. There's way too much dialogue to start the game off. I feel like a lot of people are going to quit way before they actually get to this part of the game. Mm -hmm. I like the lesson. I like the pictures that go along with the kanji. A lot of those are really cool. All right, let's see what the actual game is like now. All right, it's like a basic old Final Fantasy movement. Oh my god, water is coming after me. Ah! I can take him. LOL. Is the movement sonic boom? Yes. Dude. What are these guys doing? They're like having seizures. I think what might, might actually be happening here is that they're not transported to another world. They're just all having seizures. Look at them. She's got a mop. Are we going to attack this thing with a mop? And I've got a sword because, of course, I had, I just had a sword. But why does the teacher have a mop? I don't know. This is Kane. So, Kane King Kong. All right, the menu is, like, this could have been designed better. Um, every single one has the same mark. The readings, they're readable, but they're tiny. I don't even know if you guys can see them. My face is probably in the way of a lot of them. Kane's over here. Click this dude. <gasps> Boom! One shot. I think it's a fude. Ah! It's a big fude! Fude means, for those of you who aren't don't know Japanese yet, it's a, a brush for like writing for writing kanji. Let's get that money. Five to go. Alright, good start. Let's go another Mizu double. Can we like can we take all of them at the same time? Let's try that. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, I can only get one. All right, this is Ishi. Did I get magic? What is this, magic? I don't have any magic. It's sad. Answer. Ishi, 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 Ishi. Okay, that's probably hidden by my face as well. Boom. Attack. Did, did, did she just say it? What did she say? Take that stone orb. Ah! These two hit me. Is that is that a party of two? What's going on here? I'm excited. All right, let's go for Ishi first. Boom! One shot. Next is Sweet Mizu. Hey, it's already highlighting that. It's like easy mode. Bombo Masami, Masami, arigato. Kyo wa nanka 
日本語を学ぶゲームをやっていますあの漢字のゲーム面白いかわかんないんですけどそれを試してみてますアンディは漢字と<笑>そうその通り水水 That's cool He actually says it out loud So you can hear it every time That's, that's a nice touch Got a stone or Do I have to like pick? I want to know If I have to pick Or if I get it all Let's click on the stone orb and see Oh I got double kane Do they I want to know Does kane drop more kane? As in more money? Kane is over here You probably can't see it It's behind my face We'll go for this guy Kana. Kane. Boom! She says Kana. He says Kane. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna take the gold ore instead of the money. Alright, four to go. Let's see what my. Wow, that's a lot of stuff on this menu. Looks like. Looks like I get all the orbs regardless of what I click on. Alright, that's good news. Skills? No skills? Status. Okay, I've got a plastic sword. All right, that's awesome. Plastic sword. Cell phone strap. Awesome. Affection. Ooh. What? What is this? What is this? Hana, I'll teach you as much as I can. Elliot, spending time with you isn't so bad, I suppose. Can I date any one of these guys? We need to hit the mall together. Are you up for it? Frederick. What? Okay. This game might have more to it than I expected. Interesting. Let's save. Alright. I hate to do this to you guys, but I need like, I need 10 seconds. Okay? Just give me 10 seconds to be right back. 10 seconds. Hontoni jubio shika inakunaranai. Jubio. Ju kazoete ne chatto de. Count to 10 in the chat. Be right back. Hi. I'm back! Alright, let's continue this adventure. Alright. So, how many more of these things do I have to kill? I'm so excited. Oh! Another treasure chest! Yosh! Two Ramune! Ano, Baba chan, kono game de Ramune no muto, ano, naka, kusuri mitai. Whoa, another treasure box. All right. Obtained a short sword. Get rid of that plastic sword. Equip. Uh. Equip short sword. How do I do this? This. Okay, sweet. That's done. What's going on here? There's weird noises. Equip something for her. She's wearing. It's a mop. It's not a fude. It should be a fude. That would make more sense. But instead, she has a mop. I wonder which is better. Where's my plastic sword? Does she? Can she not? Can she? She's got a mop and calligraphy ink. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, here comes Mizu. Ah, run! How far can we get? Oh, there's a big one. Let's fight them both at the same time. All right, Mizu, 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 go. Sweet. 
It was a mop, right? But she's got ink uh, equipped as her, like, as her, I don't know, accessory. So maybe it's, it's supposed to be both? Yo, come and get it. These guys walk so fast. We've got Kane and He. Let's go for He first. Get rid of that fire. Everything is one shot in this game. In the Katakana game, it took a little more time. Kane. It's automatically highlighting all the answers for me. I'm assuming that's just in the beginning? I don't know. King. King. Sweet. Leveling up is kind of slow in this. All right. All enemies defeated. Back to story mode. Looks like we've taken care of all the kanji monsters in this area. Well done, Andy. You too, mop lady. It was pretty tough. Thanks for your help, I guess. Don't mention it, hmm? Maybe we should regroup with the others before we go further. I think she likes me. Eh? What's this? Oh my god! It's a giant Mizu! Red one! Oh boy, guys. This might be it. It's the boss. Our first boss together. Are you ready for this? Here we go, let's attack him with a mop. We're gonna go after the tree first. Keep. Boom. Keep. Wait, what? Did I screw that up? Is there another one? Ishi. 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 Shaku. There was three of them. Was he like hiding behind the tree? Is that what's going on there? All right, answer, Kane. Boom. There's fire hiding behind the money. What's going on here? <laughs> he uh, Zurui says Yuki. Yes, that is Zurui. Ka. Ka. Alright. Boom. It was easy, but I got 170 yen for that battle. Alright. Yeah. Yes, see, says Yuki. It's cheap. Hey, are you two okay? Phew! Yeah, we're okay, man. Looks like I arrived a little too late to. Priya, you're supposed to be hanging out guarding the entrance to the shrine. Why are you here? It's okay, thanks to Andy here, we managed to defeat that giant kanji monster. Go me. So, um, did you guys find out where the city disappeared to? Um, no. We didn't. We forgot about that. We were busy fighting giant kanji. Nope, no sign of it. None. I guess I have to be the one to point this out, Elliot. The city just doesn't exist anymore. We might as well give up. Yep, let's start a civilization. All right. I think this game is about to turn into like a survival game where we build houses and stuff. Is that, is that what's gonna happen? Boom, says Adamahara. Yep. Give up? Don't you want answers? How could a city just vanish? That's a good question, Frederick. First smart thing you've said all day. I don't think the city vanished by itself. Really? Something made the city disappear. That would make sense. Ever since we made that prayer at the shrine, things started getting weird. I forgot to mention in my prayer video that when you pray, you know, sometimes weird things happen. Maybe the prayer was some form of spirit magic. Yep. Probably. Frederick, what's spirit magic? I read about it in a manga once. I'm not sure if it's real or not. The manga was awesome though. Heaps of battles and epic monsters. It's gotta be real. It was in a manga. Somehow I don't think that's what we're dealing with here, says Elliot. Elliot, we're not dealing with monsters and magic. Are you sure about that? We literally just fought Kanji with a mop. Yeah, I agree with Elliot. Not a chance. No such thing as spirit magic. That's where you draw the line, Priya? Disappearing cities and walking kanji that die when you say their name with a mop. But spirit magic? Nope. Fine, fine. What does Hana Sensei think? Hmm. Hana Sensei, you okay? Yeah, sorry for spacing out. I was reflecting on how stupid you are. Oh, well, wait, no. On the last monster we fought, it had the ability to change its own form. Oh, okay. So nothing was hiding behind those things. They were changing form as we fought them. Interesting. Sneaky. Sneaky bastards. What if there are more of like that out there? Um, I see.
assume there are. Good point. We're done for. Yep. Let's give up. Elliot, calm down. We're still standing, right? There's so much talking in this game. But yeah. For now. Since the city is nowhere to be found, maybe we can return to the shrine and rest up. Yep. Okay, Priya's idea is perfect. Let's take a nap. We'll use the shrine as our base and rest up. Catch your breath now, everyone. We've got a long walk back. What? Once again, I have to ask. I could have sworn about five minutes ago we told these guys to sit by the shrine and protect it. Why did they follow us all the way out into the wilderness? Some There's got to be a twist here, right? Somebody's out to kill us. It's been such a long day. So hungry. Does anyone have any snacks? That's all you want is a snack? Nope, sorry. We'll probably starve here. Yuki's eating rice out of a bowl. I'll take some. Nope, sorry, Priya. No snacks. I don't really want this. Anyway. Anyone else? I have these trading cards that come with a pack of gum. The gum is gone, though. You're so helpful, Frederick. Everything you say. Right. Thanks, Frederick. Since we might be here for a while, we should dig around for some food. We should probably do that. Is this seriously like the survival version of this game? That's, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, maybe we can get some local, some of the local wildlife to help us forage for food. What? <laughs> what? What kind of world do these people live in? Oh, good. I'm not the only one. Elliot and I are on the same page. Elliot and I are on the same page, like, at least half the time. That's good. What do you mean? <clears throat> like, I could try and tame a friendly deer that can help us find edible leaves. I feel like I've heard this before. Yuki wa koyu koto tama ni yu ne. Or I could find a cute little fox that can seek out berries for us. Mm -hmm. Can you really do that? Of course he can't. He's just being himself. I'll show you two. Dinner's coming right up. All right. The, do I get to go be Frederick and like tame animals now? This is gonna be fun. He's gone. Of course he is. Elliot, can you go after him and make sure he's okay? Ooh. Hannah is uh, setting up the situation for just to be the three of us. Andy, do you want to help me out? I'm going to try and catch some fish from that stream over there. Oh, we're going fishing. Okay. This is just getting interesting. I'll come too. Oh boy. We going swimming? Otta boy, chippins. Keep gathering those berries. What? What is going on? There's something on his shoulder. I think it's, it's either a Pokemon or a rabbit. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. You're such a cute little fox. What the? <laughs> of course. That should be enough berries for all of us. Thanks for your help, Chippins. Hmm, what's that? You want to travel with me and never leave my side because you love me and you've always wanted to be with me? Oh, you're the sweetest little foxy a guy could ever ask for. Of course you can come with me. Frederick, uh, be careful. That's a wild fox. Oh, Elliot. Chippins isn't wild. He's a good boy. He helped me collect all these berries for everyone to share. What is going on? Bizarre. He actually does what you say? Yep. We've only known each other a short while, but it feels like we've been friends for a lifetime. Someone's drunk. Oh, and he says he wants to be friends with you too, Elliot. Elliot, introduce yourself. Okay. Yes, says... What? Wait. Chippin says yes. Okay. Um, well, hello, Chippins. My name is Elliot. Er, I'm very happy to meet you, and thank you for helping us find dinner! Woo! Wow, Chippins really likes you, Elliot. How can you tell, Frederick? I can tell we're all gonna be best friends. What is this music? That sounds good, Frederick. How about we head back to the shrine? Okay, come on, Chippins, I'll introduce you to the gang. Okay, this got interesting. Foxes for life. Chippins is so gosh darn cute, I just want to squeeze him. No, Priya, you can't be too rough with him. He's a sensitive soul. Okay, so everyone's okay with this, but no one believes in spirit magic. I've never heard of a wild fox becoming so fond of a human. Well, as long as Frederick takes care of him and feeds him and, you know, cleans up after him, Chippins is more than welcome to join our group. Awesome. Did you hear that, Chippins? You can learn Japanese with us. What? 
You're going to be the smartest foxy of all time. Wait. So this fox, living in the spirit world of Japan, speaks English. And now he's going to learn Japanese. Awesome. I see that you brought back a lot of berries. Thank you for that. No problem. Chippins was happy to help. Priya and I managed to catch some fish before. We found a small stream on the... Oh my god. I just want to, like, play. Yep. Hen is, like, totally a master fisherman. Of course she is. She went and made a fishing rod from some tree branches, and she dug up worms from the ground for bait. It was so gross, but she did a great job. The fish were biting within minutes. It was kind of fun. Nice job. I'm pretty impressed. That's awesome. So can we have some berries and fish for dinner? Can we cook the fish? Already one step ahead of you. There's a fire burning in the lanterns outside the shrine. We can make a campfire to cook with our, cook our dinner with. Man, these guys are on it. Yeah, Han is a genius. Well then, shall we get started? I guess that's my voice. Civilization has seemingly disappeared. The cities that once dominated Japan's vast landscapes have vanished. Horrific beasts in the shape of kanji are roaming the wilderness. They are vicious and relentless in their attacks. The only structure that remains is the shrine. The place where you made your prayer for good luck. Only a few people are present, and they're all part of your study group. How convenient. You are all certain of one thing. Without a place to live, you will not last long against the kanji monsters that are out for blood. It's time to build a safe haven, a place of security for yourself and your new friends. You will need to gather materials and build what you can. Shelter, facilities, and defenses against the monsters will all be required. Your ultimate goal should be to build a brand new town. A place where humankind can survive. I'm sorry, can thrive. Yeah, we could have just had sashimi. What's up with this? Are you up for the task? Will you fight back against the darkness? Everyone in chat? I guess I will. Why not? Save your progress so far? Yep. We'll just do that here. So, <clears throat> I guess the whole world has disappeared. Like, we haven't been transferred to another world. The whole world has disappeared. And it's just us. Because of course. But we're going to build a new one. So, I think the other games are like Final Fantasy-esque. I don't know. Is this going to be a survival game? No idea. Has anyone in chat ever played any of the Japanese to survive games? Learn Japanese to survive games? I'd love to know that. Also, where is everyone watching from tonight? I can't imagine many people are from America because it's like what? Oh, it's seven in the morning? Yawn, that was an uncomfortable night's rest. No pillows or blankets. I don't know, wasn't that bad. Beat sleeping at home, dude. Where does this guy live? I think he must have some problems. Mayday-san, I'm watching from the train. <laughs> Welcome, Mayday-san. Interesting train ride, I imagine. It's an exciting game. Elliot, is your home life not so good? Uh, yeah, sounds that way, Frederick. Uh, just forget I said anything. Are we gonna find out, like, what's happening with Elliot? Is this gonna get, like, super adult? No pressure. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't make the game. Okay. Hey, I just remembered. Priya, you pinched chippin. What? You pinched chippins for me during the night. Okay. <laughs> nope, he chose to cuddle with me. So random. Betrayed! Love the dialogue here. Hmm, where's Hana? Did she not sleep here? Nope, she's, uh. She's conspiring with the monk to kill us all, obviously. I'm positive she was here when we fell asleep. I'll go look for her. I'm sure she can't be far. I'm pretty sure that me, as in he, is into Kana. Or is it Hana? I don't know. Do I get to walk now? No, no, more dialogue. Awesome. Sweet. When am I supposed to be learning kanji again? Now, where is that teacher of ours? Oh? Ohayou gozaimasu! Andy? Good morning. Good morning, Hana-sensei. What are you up to? I'm scouting the area, looking around. There are a lot of kanji monsters today. Yep. It's definitely a new sentence. It would seem so. By examining the monsters looking around, I've been able to determine which kanji characters we should study next. Are you serious? Are we already doing another lesson? I would really like to go hunting for kanji breakfast. 
And we should hop to it, because the monsters look eager to get closer to our little home here. How can you tell? Do these kanji have eyes or something? Or, like, hungry mouths? Hmm. Right, I'll gather the others. Thanks, time to study. Alright, looks like we're about to learn five more kanji. I will say that the Katakana game, even though I only paid, played, what, like, five, ten minutes of it, I think? There was a lot more, um, actual playing. As opposed to this, where I'm a, just, like, it's just, it's like a novel. I'm, like, reading a novel. In this lesson, we're going to learn five kanji characters. Pictured above, we'll go through them one by one. I'm going to skip through these guys really fast, unless any of you actually want to learn them. I don't think anyone here doesn't already know these kanji, but I'm not sure. Anyway, he, day, sun, he, nichi, jitsu. Say, but, uh, it looks like a window. Okay, once again, cool thing about these ga this game is the pictures. Um, it resembles an open window looking at the day outside. Okay. They came up with some cool stuff for this. Continue. Next one is Tsuki, Getsu. Tsuki. All right. Getsu, Gatsu, right? Written with four strokes. Looks like the shape of the left curve in moon resembles a crescent moon. Okay, that's cool. Still, they're piece of cake. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any difficult ones for a while. I don't know how long the game is, but hopefully there's some new stuff. Uh, continue. Next one is... Nen. Toshi. Toshi. <clears throat> All right. Looks like the lower shape of Toshi resembles a well. Does it? It is also similar to the kanji used for the word well. With this in mind, we say visit the well every year. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that. Is that is that a real thing? Does anyone know? Is that a real thing? Here comes the next one. Oh my goodness. It's so fast. Haya. Haya. So. Sa. Early fast. The shape of... Haya. Resembles the sun rising in the early morning. Yes, it does. That's pretty cool. I like the pictures. It's neat. I would have enjoyed this when I first started. I just noticed the boom nana border around your face. <laughs> yeah, it's probably kind of hard to see on mobile, but... Yeah, I had fun making that. <laughs> boom bananas. You. You, Seki. Alright. The shape of you resembles the moon rising in the evening. It's a similar image to Tsuki, so try not to confuse them. It's pretty easy to not confuse those, at least now, I don't know. Has anyone ever had problem, like, with when they started confusing you and Tsuki? I don't think I did. Anyway, congratulations, I just completed this lesson. Woo! Alright. Now that the lesson is over, I have to quiz you. She has to, of course. I do hope you've all been paying attention. Has everyone got this? Dan, Mayday-san, Yuki, Adam Hara, are you ready? What is the English meaning for Toshi? Year, correct. What is the Onyomi reading of you? Yabe. I didn't pay attention to this one. I'm guaranteed it's Seki, though. What are the Kunyomi, Japanese readings of Nichi? Hi, bi. What is the English meaning of Tsuki? Yup. What is the correct kanji for the word early? Haya. Correct. What is the kunyomi for tsuki? Tsuki, obviously. Congratulations! I'm gonna be a master. Oh yeah, I got it. I hope you all managed to keep up with that lesson. Music. Sounds like we're in for trouble, guys. Oh boy. We're going to have a bit of a trial by fire ahead of us. Look outside. The kanji month. They're people. Humans running towards us. What? Okay. They're all getting close to the shrine. What do we do? We have to fight, of course. Hana Sensei has given us the knowledge we need. We can take him down. It's very confident of you, Frederick. Earlier in the day, you were practically pissing your pants. Right, we can do this. If we take out the monsters, we can save those people. I can't say I have your confidence, but I'll do what I can, says Elliot. Alright. Minasan, ganbatte! Everyone, do your best. Thanks, Hana. In this battle, kanji monsters will invade your town. Ooh, there's question marks. Can't actually see what they look like. Interesting. Break out the mop and whoop asses, Dan. <laughs> oh yeah. Who are these people? You must drive away a set number of kanji monsters to repel the invasion. Do your best to protect the people that have just arrived at the shrine. They will be very grateful if you save them. What does that mean? Ooh, there's five of us now. 
I wonder what weapons the other guys have. Access the main menu with, yep, 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 yep. Change your team. You can have up to four people in your battle team at a time. Oh, I can't use them all? Only characters who participate in battles will receive experience points. Boo, this is like the original Pokemon. Whatever. Who do I want, guys? At the moment I have Hana, Priya, and Frederick. Do I want to keep Frederick? He has a fox. Or I could go with Elliot? Uh, we'll let Frederick stay for now. Hi guys, let's talk. Yo! We were chased by those things for so long, I can't believe they haven't given up yet. Yeah, right. That's what you can't believe? You can't believe that there's kanji chasing you? What on earth are those? I'm, I'm scared. Where's mommy? <laughs> I guess this is the end. Wow. Okay, man. Let's go for the big question marks. Uh-oh. What? In this battle, the enemies you fight are made up of English words. Okay. You can defeat them using the same principles as normal combat. Your list of answers has changed to kanji characters, huh? Instead of meanings. Select the matching kanji from your answer list in order to defeat the enemy. Alright, so I guess we just have to pick the kanji, right? The kanji combination. Wow, we've got all ten of them here. Kane is gold money. We just attack English words. It's exciting. So this chick has two daggers. This guy is going to fight with his fists and a fox. Why did Priya have two, like, ninja daggers? Just chilling on her when we went into the new world. But our teacher, who apparently knew all about this stuff, just has a mop. Awesome. Month, moon, boom. <laughs> Powerful mop, though. All right, I'll take the gold. Oh, and there's another one. On we go. Let's kill the stone first. Boom. Ouch. They don't like Frederick either. Moon month. Boom. Ski. All right, I like that they say the words like each time you attack. That might help with memorizing a little bit. You. 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 Yay, you caught gold money, and Hana got a mop. Yup. <laughs> yeah, seriously, what the fuck? Um, what the F word? Uh, anyway. I'm being family friendly on this channel, guys. Aren't you excited? All right, let's kill this little guy. Day sun gold money. All right, so the combat is... I don't know if it's just in the beginning that it's super boring and everything gets one-shotted, or what? I know when I played the other game for the 10 minutes, uh, it at least took a little time. You had to, like, heal yourself. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. I don't know why we're so scared of these stupid kanji monsters. I, I, I can't... I can't walk in the field? Why? I can't walk down here either? Why? Okay, the, uh, the detection, what is that called? Look at that, okay. Anyway, whatever, let's kill this little guy. Year, fire. Fire. Ka. Ka, sounds so excited. Year, where are you? There it is, Toshi. Nin. Nin. Hana's killing it with her little mop. And all these orbs don't know what they're for. Nope. Come and get me. Come and get me. These guys are slow. We're like sonic boom speed, as Yuki's put it. Stone. Koku. Koku. Okay. Uh, day sun. This one. Easy. Easy. And moon. Get. Get. Same voice for all the girls, same voice for all the guys. They put a lot of money into their voice acting. They probably should have put a little more, considering the whole game seems to be dialogue. Yeah, take that, you big old kanji goofball. Yep, got all of Frederick's lines. Good hit, Frederick. Well done. I can't take all the credit. Chippins did most of the work. You mean all of the work? All of it. Literally all of it. Great job, Chippins. Looks like we've defeated the majority of them. What now? Elliot, you didn't do anything. Well, there should be a boss-type monster up next, right? Of course. Isn't that how these things go? Like, yeah. Of 
course, you're right, Frederick. You're probably right if this was some lame video game, but this is... Okay. Um, breaking the fourth wall a bit there. I totally just lost my immersion, guys. Ah, hello, end, le end of level boss. <laughs> what? Who knew? Psh, you were so right just this once. So you were right just this once. Keep your wits about you, everyone. We can take this one down. Alright then. Oh boy. We've got shape shifting kanji. And there's like electronic metal music playing in the background. I'm so excited. Alright. We'll go with evening first. So you, Seki, break walls. Yeah. Breaking all the walls. Seki. Seki. Seki turned into Haya. We're gonna go with. So it appears that. Where is it? Haya. It appears that the enemies don't have health points. That's different from the other games, from what I've noticed. You just one-shot them. So. Or maybe they can change a certain amount of times. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it's okay. We'll go with... Uh, let's go with Nietzsche. Where is Nietzsche? Eh? I can't... can't... I can't find it, guys. Where is it? I guess I can't go after that one. There it is. Boom. And that became Nen. Oh, these, the writing is so tiny. Maybe, maybe I need glasses. I don't know. It's kind of hard to find. Does anyone else see it? Does anyone see it? Somebody help me. I don't see Nen anywhere. Okay, I guess we're going to go for water then. Boom. Go for Skeet. Skeet gets it. Boom. Skeet. So, dude. Ah, there it is. Toshi Nen. Thank you. Nen. Yuki saved me there. Yo, what is the magic tab? I checked that earlier. I think you might have been gone. Oh, level up. Yosh. More HP, more SP. Power. Soul. And speed. I wonder what these things are. The magic tab is at the moment empty. I went in there a little bit earlier and there was nothing there. I'm very disappointed, but that, that must come into play later. There's also like, I don't know if you saw it. Let, let's just go back and look at these things quick. If there's not a ton of dialogue. I got a duck feather, guys. I got a duck feather. Got a duck feather. We're safe. All right. Why are kanji carrying duck feathers? <laughs> Tickle people alive, huh? 250 yen! 250 yen! And the boss bites the dust. The crowd cheers. Awesome, Frederick. Phew. How do you have so much energy after that? I'm running on adrenaline. I'm actually so sleepy. <laughs> I feel you. I need a break. Wow, it's standing ever, everyone. Thank you for your help. Blah, blah, blah. The town seems to be safe. What town? For now. Is there a town now? Hmm. We seem to have a few new people here now. I'm glad they survived the monster attack. They're definitely kanji in disguise, guys woman thank you so much for saving us i saw the shrine in the distance and started running for it i thought this would be a town but it doesn't look like doesn't look like much still we don't have anywhere else to go can we stay here nope rules of zombie land man wait where exactly did you come from we've come from the other side of that forest our city vanished into thin air oh okay so our prayers at the shrine made the entire city disappear. Awesome! I don't know how many people are still out there. Our group has been on the run for monsters for quite a while. Reminds me of Lost for some reason. You can all stay here with us, but we don't have much. You might need to build a few more shelters. It's a good idea, Priya, but in order to build anything, we need co to collect materials. Is this, is this when I get to go, like, exploring? Have you noticed that the monsters we've been fighting keep dropping strange orbs when defeated? I have? These orbs have kanji on them, like ishi, wood, no, I'm sorry, ki, wood, and ishi, stone. If we gather enough of these orbs, I'm sure we can use them as materials to build structure. Yes, mm-hmm, collect stones, and because they have the kanji wood written on them, they are wood. Yep, that's how it works. Gather a bunch of orbs, and then we can start building. Ugh, manual labor, really? We'll help out too. Please, it's the least we can do to repay you. Great, in that case, Andy! 
I'll leave you in charge of improving this little town. Great. I get to call the shots. Finally. Yup, no problem. So I guess the voice acting, the terrible voice acting, is only in the beginning of the game. From now on, you can make improvements to your town as you see fit. Okay. To build a new structure, talk to a character standing in front of an empty block of land. You'll need to spend kanji orbs in order to build, a, to build structures. The number and type of orbs required are displayed above the character you speak to. You can also upgrade structures by talking to the character standing in front of a building. Upgrading requires kanji orbs, just like the building. By building and upgrading structures, you can unlock many new features that will help you overcome foes. When you have finished exploring your town, talk to Hana to continue with your lessons. Obtained five wood orbs. Try taking these orbs to Priya to build some- Wait, Priya's gonna build us a house? I don't know how I feel about that. Is this a quest? Is this money? Hey you there, do you need to buy any items? I don't have much, but maybe these can help you out. What? Maybe what can help us out? There's nothing there. Buy. Oh, there is. Okay. She's got ramune, candy, and of course, duck feathers are at a premium in this world. 980 yen per duck feather. Awesome. No thanks. What are you talking about? Man, this town could do with a bit more work. I'm working on it, dude. Two shops over here. Are these the monks that just screwed us? I have some weapons here for sale. Okay. Okay, I can sell a mop. Mops are 100 yen. Awesome. Plastic swords, 100 yen. Alright. Frisbee? Yep. That's what I like to fight with. Frisbees. And boomerangs. And plastic cutlery. Butter knives, guys. Butter knives. 480 yen. Who wants a butter knife? 480 yen. I like how they use kanjis in the shop. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool for kao, uru, kanseru, max HP. Oh, that, that is actually cool. I didn't even notice that. Good catch, come to Japan, Dan. Why is my power minus five and my soul minus five? That's scary. That's a good point. It's pretty cool. And that for even for yen, they use the kanji. It's not bad. Thanks, talk to my brother if you need armor. All right, let's see what he's selling. A shirt, a jacket, and a scarf. Okay. I wonder if I can sell my stupid plastic sword from before. Sell. Nope. All right, let's go build a house with Priya. Andy's here! Maybe you can save me from my boredom. Probably not. Do you want to build some houses? Yeah, sure. Holy crap, that was fast. She just built a dormitory with a sign that says dormitory on it. The door could use some work, though. There's, like, holes in it. House complete. This is awesome. Now we have some houses for shelter. Thank you for bringing me the materials. Whenever you're ready to continue, let's just speak to Hannah. Okay. What's over here? How do I get down here? I want to go in this building. Whoa. Yo, I've been studying kanji too. Hmm. No, I haven't been peeping in the classroom window. I learned that all the kanji, but like, are our kanji lessons exclusive? We're in this new special world, but only the P4 contest winners can learn kanji here. Sorry. I think you can sell the sword. There was a separate tab. Oh, really? Okay. I'll go back. Let's see. Sell. A weapon. Boom. Go Dan. What do I get for it? 150 yen. Right. Thank you. Rich. Okay, I can't get past this woman. There we go. It's over here. There's something odd about this tree. How could something so large grow here? Why? Why? I mean, I guess that's a plot point, but... See why that's weird. Oh, you must be the new butler. Yep, I'm the new butler. You can put breakfast on the table when you're ready. Thank you. Where did I put the table? Okay, we've got a crazy lady. Uh, this town could do with a bit more work. Okay, that seems to be everything. I guess we go to the next lesson. Do one more lesson tonight. Hopefully there's some fighting. I didn't go in this building yet. Priya built a lot of houses really fast. Let's 
let's see. Oh, you're in my house. That's fine, I guess. Yep. Please make yourself at home. You're not troubling me. Not at all. Uh, go ahead. By all means. Don't worry about it. I don't care. At all. I don't, I don't hate the writing. I hate it. Alright, can I go in the shrine without talking to Kanna? I can. What's this? Oh, we've got the lessons. Oh, that's cool. You can come back and review the lessons. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, would you like to review lesson one? Actually, no. I, I, I... Alright, let's look. I don't really want to do this. Can I exit at any time? Uh, no, we can't. It's going to go through the whole thing, isn't it? Please tell me I can get out. I can't. Alright, I already don't like that. But you can't exit the lessons if you go into review. I should definitely be able to exit this. Oh well, let's just fly through it. Alright, my first piece of feedback for this game, when you go into the review lessons, you can't, you have to do the whole thing. You can't quit at any time. Urgh, don't care. <clears throat> Here comes the next one. Ishi. Alright, am I done yet? Kane. Kane. It's clicking like a madman. Continue. All right, we survived it, guys. All right, let's just, let's just move on. Andy, how's your day been? I learned my lesson, Dan. I learned my lesson. I should have known better. Do you want to continue your le upgrade shrine? What? Let's upgrade the shrine. We should focus on building other structures before working on the shrine. We can update. Okay, fine. Why did you even ask then? Continue lessons. All right. Chapter 2. I wonder how many chapters there are. Ohayou gozaimasu! Good morning! Good morning. Yesterday sure was a busy day. Yes, it was. I want to thank you for helping out with building the town. Oh, it's nothing. Frederick did the chopping and Priya did the heavy lifting. I just pointed around and gave instructions. That's right. That's how I do. I just point around and give instructions. Don't be so modest. I appreciate you keeping a cool head throughout all this. You may be a visitor to this country, but you've lost everything, just like me. Yeah, sure. I suppose so. We have a good group of people here. A group of true friends, ready to rally and help out. Two days. Two days is all it took. I guess this kind of situation would make people closer together. We're in good company, that's for sure. Yes, we are. Wait. Those voices are reversed. Since we're in this together, we should all make the most of it and get to know each other better. The more we get along, the happier, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. That, that's a song, right? That's a song. <laughs> Sounds good. When we have time, please, when you have time, please wander around and chat to people. I'm sure that improving our bonds will be beneficial. Ooh. For now, shall we study? Yep, study and chill. In this special lesson, we'll be discussing kanji pronunciation. As you've learned so far, each kanji has multiple pronunciations. When we write kanji using English letters, romaji, it can be difficult to tell how to pronounce certain sounds. Yes, I say this all the time. I don't mind this game, it's okay. For example, you may have seen both the letters O and the long O used. When you see a letter like O oh, with a dash above it, it represents a long vowel. Do we, do we have to talk about this? Can't we just use hiragana? You draw the length of the letter, blah, 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 blah. But I'm just going to skip through this. <clears throat> Keep this information in mind when pronouncing, yeah. But we're already using hiragana, so whatever. Oh, tough lesson. Tough lesson here we've got. It's numbers. Yuki looks excited. All right, last lesson, guys. Last lesson. I would really, I really wish there was some more open world time. There was a lot more in the katakana game. We'll go through them one by one. Here's our first kanji. Ichi. Hito. Hito. Or hitotsu. Hitotsu. Ichi. It's. One. Shape resembles a one. Hito. Continue. Ni. Futa. Futa. Ni. Looks like two. Two lines. Continue. Three lines. Here comes the next kanji. San. Mi. Mi. 
resembles three lines. Of course it does. I wonder how they're going to explain four. I'm looking forward to this one. The advice is solid, but the drama is a bit cheesy. Yes. The drama is a bit cheesy, and there's too much of it. Like, I'd rather just get this through, like, not cutscenes, but, like, little pieces of dialogue while we're running around town or something. Here comes the next kanji. Yo. Yo. Yom. Shi. The shape of four resembles a square, which has four lines. Sure. Here comes the next kanji. Five. It's. It's. Go. Although it's written with just four strokes, you can imagine the kanji is composed of five straight lines. I guess so. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five straight lines. I guess so. There's got to be a better way to memorize that. I can't remember what I used before. All right, we did it. Quiz time. No quiz? Now that the lesson is over, I have to quiz you. What is the English meaning of four? Four. What are the onyomi readings of one? Uh, onyomi? Ichi, it's. What is the kunyomi of three? San. Oh, kunyomi ka. Oh my god, I made a mistake. What is the kunyomi of three? Mi. What is the English meaning of two? Two. What is the correct kanji for the word five? This one. Correct. Well done. What are the kunyomi, Japanese readings, of yom? Kunyomi, right? Okay. Whew. All right. I was getting a little confused there. Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on the way to mastering kanji. I am, aren't I? So, uh, Hana-sensei, did you give any thought to my suggestion from earlier? Uh, Priya, yes, I think it's a good idea. I'd like to go ahead with it. Excellent. You're the best, Hana-sensei. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I am. Hey! What's this then? What are you two planning? You sure are nosy. No, Chippins is nosy. But he can't talk, so I have to speak for him. I thought he was learning Japanese. Priya suggested that we venture further into the forest over there. We met those survivors that came from the other side of the forest, so it's worth investigating to see if there's anything else out there. I agree. Finally. It sounds dangerous. Shut up, Elliot. Well, it will be. The only other option we have is to stay put here, and that's just too boring. I'm all for exploring more, and so is Chippins. Great! Do I get a word in this? Do I get any say in this at all? I mean, I agree, but... Then we'll get going! There's sure to be kanji monsters lurking between the trees, so be on guard. We'll follow Andy's lead, because he leads everything, apparently. Head outside of the town and towards the forest. Hi, let's go. Ready? Is everyone ready? All right. Um, if you love this game with all of your heart, hit the like button. Yay! If you hate it, hit the like button. Woo! All right. Yo! I may not look like much, but I've been through a few battles in my time, says man. If you have any questions about combat, I'm the guy. Hit me with your cues. I do have questions about this. What is power? It measures your physical strength. I'm sure you've noticed that enemies get defeated with one successful hit, so your power doesn't affect the damage you deal. Okay. Instead, your power stat determines how much of a beating you can resist from an enemy. It's like health? Oh, it's it's like defense. Okay. I do not think I like them. Yeah, maybe one shot's okay, since it's kind of like reviewing. What's soul? Soul is blah blah blah. When you cast magic, the effects are amplified by your soul stat. For example, healing magic is more powerful with a high soul stat. It isn't just important for spellcasters, it also affects the amount of damage you can take from an enemy's magical attack. Raise it to reduce damage. Okay. Speed is probably just in battle one person. Okay, whoever goes first, right? Easy. Let's go. How do I learn magic? There's the question of the day, ladies and gentlemen. How do I learn magic? As you level up, you'll begin to learn magic spells. Each character can learn different spells depending on their personality. You just automatically learn them, I guess. Some characters will learn healing magic, and others will learn handy tricks to debilitate enemies. If you have any questions about combat, I'm the guy to ask. I don't need help. All right. I want Elliot in my party today, guys. Let's do this. Add to party. Let's get rid of... Elliot. Boom. Finish. 
finish. How do I get out of this? Finish. Okay. Gonna hit the forest. I'm gonna beat some stuff up. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Because it's just too much reading. Whoa! It's a big map. Look at that. Interesting. I can go to the plains. <laughs> Look at this. Is there like random encounters like in Final Fantasy? This is not a big map. Dude, I think I'm in Kyushu. I am in Kyushu. Or is this Hokkaido? Votes. Is this Kyushu or Hokkaido? It is Kyushu. Woohoo. All right. So question. Do I go to the dark forest or the plains? They want me to go to the forest, so I'm going to go to the plains. Oh, we were already here. Peace. This music is like... It sounds a lot like Game of Thrones music. But like, cheap version of Game of Thrones music. <laughs> Dark Forest, here we go! This is the forest Hana suggested we explore. Okay. Locate the exit. That's it. Okay. Treasure chest, baby! Oh. And we're dead. That's Shikoku for sure, yeah. Looks like it. Uh, what? What? Dude, Elliot looks like a zombie. And he has nothing. He's just like, he's like squeezing his hand behind him like this. Okay, here we go. Be fast. Let's get rid of he first. He. he. Boom. Answer will go with Toshi. If I can find it, there it is. Toshi. Alright, there is... Here's another thing. There's a lot of kanji and reading showing up on this screen. And they're all in hiragana. So it's definitely not going to be easy to find them after a while. Uh, we'll, we'll just go with yon. Alright. Ouch. Last one. Go. Sweet. Easy peasy. Elliot's about to get to level 2. Wow. Look at all that stuff. Give me three ramune. All right. We're living off the ramune. There's another Ichi. Go! I, uh... Oh. Oh! Well, that's interesting. You can, like, you can... Okay, I see. You can navigate with the keys. Um... What do I have here? Some? Some? So that. I wish that. The, oh, they are cumulative. Okay, I was just gonna say, I thought that there was only gonna be like the kanji we just learned in here, but they're all in here, so it is cumulative. Although that gets a little confusing with 15 different readings showing up. <clears throat> uh, Nichi, Nichi, Nichi. Alright, I don't see that, so we're gonna go with key, key, key. There it is. Oh. Boom. Oh. Uh, anyone see it? Anyone see it? Help! <clears throat> Yuki found it. Ah, Hinichi. There we go. Thank you! Is Elliot level 2 yet? Nope. Boom. I obtained a robe. Ooh, who can wear robes? Let's find out. Uh, probably Hana? Equip body robe. Does it tell me like 13? Okay, wow. That brings up her power and her soul a lot. It's a powerful rogue, dudes. Sweet. Let's see what the affections are looking like. Oh yeah, did you see this before, Dan? Affections? Apparently there's like dating in this game? Hana hates me. She says I'll teach you as much as I can. Elliot's like spending time into you isn't so bad, I suppose. Priya, we need to hit the mall together. Are you up for it? Frederick, you should play frisbee with me and Chippins. It'll be fun. Interesting. Can't go that way. What's this? It's sparkling. Why is it sparkling? Water orb. Okay, you can collect stuff. That's cool. Big Ichi. Answer. Neat, 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 neat. I'm going for neat. Ah, <sighs> futa, 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 futa. Oh, there's way too many kinds. Yeah. Uh, hiya. There it is. Okay, so it looks like they're all in the hiya. same place every time, at least, the reading. So when you 
find where they are the first time, if you remember that, it should be okay. The only problem with that is if you memorize that, I feel like you won't actually have to read anything. Toshi Nen. Toshi. So I think if you played this game and were actually trying to learn kanji, you would actually have to take your time. Ni. And like, you'd have to make it a point to read out each one. What's up? Ah, kane. I did it wrong, right? Kana. Thank you. <clears throat> Elliot, you're almost level two. All right, treasure chest. There's a lot of treasure chests in this world. Change a scarf. Who can wear a scarf? Probably me. Accessory cell phone strap. I can. Is this gonna bring it up? It will. My speed is up. Sweet. Alright. So, cool bridge. Looks like there's gonna be a big Ichi. Five kanji for, per battle. We're not screwing around here. Alright, Yom. Go for the back line. Toshi. Toshi. Use that mop. I should probably watch their health. They're actually getting hit a bit down there. Uh, keep, keep, keep. Boom. Ski, ski, getsu. There it is. Gatsu, boom. Ni, tats. Boom. Boom. And Elliot levels up. Woo! Alright. I'm already over this forest. Ooh, what's this? Is it wood? It is wood. All right. Boom. All right, so like, this game would probably get pretty boring after a while, but if you were using it as a study aid, it's not terrible, right? It's not terrible. Go. It's better than I expected. It's better than the Katakana game, I think. Oops. Uh, I could just escape. But, whatever. Where did they go? Okay, this this control isn't that great. There we go. Kana. If you accidentally hit like WASD while you're in the battle, it just goes down the lines and everything disappears, and that's kind of annoying. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Nichi. Woo! Give me that yen. Is this water again? Yosh. Oh, oh, no. Don't walk towards him automatically. I want to go get that. That. Oh, look at that. All my guys are full health again. It looks like I automatically heal up whenever I leave battle. It's too easy. Make me work. You gave me all that ramune. <laughs> it's a go. 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 Became Ishii. Whew. Ishii, you're done. This is the boss. I guess this must be the exit. Mi, mi, sang. Mi. Became ni. Ni, 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 ni. Uh, my eyes. There we go. Futa ni. Toshinen. Toshinen. Boom. Toshi. Yom. Shi. Yom. Shi. Boom. Shi. Mopping for the win. What's going on, people? It's Kyushu Trails. I just watched your video tonight right before the stream, man. But it was like literally right before the stream. So I didn't have time to comment on it. Oh no, finally we're on the other side of the forest. This looks like a mountain in the background. Do we get to climb it? Yeah, it's um, it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's a little bit too easy at the moment and there's way too much dialogue. But um, it could be interesting for learners. Finally, we're on the other side of that forest. Sure enough. There are no traces of civilization, except... Do you all see that shrine over there? Oh, there's a shrine. Oh yeah, I see it. It's similar to the one in the back of our town. I need to make some consistency with these voices. Yeah, it looks like it's the only remnant of the city. Wait, what? Ugh. I was hoping we'd at least run into some other people we could bring back to town. So, was this a waste of time? No, not at all. At the very least, this gives us some perspective. It's almost as if humanity never existed. The country has become a clean slate. 
Safe for the shrines left behind in both cities. Well, yeah, but do the shrines still remain? Ah, but why do the shrines still remain? Good question. We, we were in a shrine when all this began. When the monk told us to make a prayer. Obviously the monk is the devil, guys. The, obviously. Why is the dialogue English? That's disappointing. Oshiri. Um, Oshiri furishitemasu. <laughs> the um yeah it's not a japanese game so it's like an english game for learning kanji at least both have japanese and english right yes so it's actually just introducing kanji little by little and it has the readings for the kanji and then you learn them unfortunately there's no words yet you're just learning the kanji one by one i don't know if there's going to be words later in the game but at the moment it's just how it is the story's in english and we're supposed to be students learning English in Japan and then some monk told us to pray and we prayed at a shrine and then the world disappeared and now we're here that monk hmm if only that monk was still around perhaps he'd have some answers he's the bad guy dude oh okay just for studying individual yeah yeah I think it's just for studying individual kanji at the moment there might be words later I'm not really sure should we ask people back in town maybe one of them has run into him yeah, it's worth a go. Pri and I will ask around town when we return. The rest of you, please focus on getting some rest. Finally, an idea I agree with. Very well then, let's head back to town. So yeah, there's this town and we get to build it up with the items we have and stuff. And you can buy stuff. Yeah. Apparently this tree is important. I don't know why. Oh, it looks like we can go back anytime. Okay, that's cool. At least I don't just have to hang out with the- Ah, no! Safe. Alright. So, I guess I'll continue this next week. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna take a break. Uh, how many hours have I been playing this? Four hours? That's, that's not possible. It's not- It hasn't been four hours, right? Oh my god. I've been live for two hours. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, so... Sweet. I'm doing hard mode right now, which means that everything is in hiragana, which is good. I guess for people who don't know hiragana yet or haven't played the hiragana games yet, you can just do it in easy mode, which just has like romaji readings. But anyway, not bad. Pretty cool. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I think I'm about to call it a night. Uh, sorry, it's <laughs> you just showed up, Kishu Trails, and it's already time to wipe to just my face. But anyway, it was interesting. Definitely fun. Um, I'll keep playing it. I'll make an opinion when I'm finished with it. I don't know how long it is. It could be, it could be really long, or it could be like ten hours and finished. But you just finished work. Wow, that's a late work time. Oh, but I guess Aikaiwa. That's about right. Yeah. Hmm. I forgot that Aikaiwa's worked to like nine o'clock. Yo, Romaji reading is actual hard mode. I agree. That would be way harder. I should just try it to see, like, how... No, I'm not doing that. It sounds terrible. I... Like, I... It was halfway out my mouth, and I already knew it was a terrible idea. One thing I want to check really quick. Let's go back to this. Is... Did I get any magic yet at level 2? Uh... Quests? What? There's a bunch of quests. Affection? Nope, not yet. Party? Nope. Status? Nothing? Apparently they used RPG Maker to make this game and they didn't really change much. No skills, no magic. Just Is there a type of escape? Okay. Correct screen? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Anyway. Yeah. So, always dash on. Yes, remember actions off. Sync monitor, FPS, sure. Anyway, that's that, I guess. So anyway, yeah, we're, oh, show Kyushu Trails Kyushu. All right, I'll do that. Let's go to Kyushu, guys. Are you ready for this? Oh, my God. Boom. We are in the version of Kyushu where everything disappeared. It looks like there's a town on Shikoku. And Nagano, the mountains are gone from Nagano. We have the earth. Nagano way over here, I guess all these islands it appears we're actually in Japan and I don't know what town do you think this is Nagasaki what town were we in that disappeared I'm not sure what do you think would be down here 
I don't actually remember the layout of Kyushu because I've never been there. How dare I? Yeah. So that's interesting. But anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to continue playing this next week and I'm going to try and perfect my voices of all these people. I feel like that's going okay. <laughs> But anyway, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys around. I've got, I finished a video with some guys that I collabed with on, in Matsumoto on Sunday. It's finished, I edited it, it's all done, it's ready to go. But I'm not putting it out until next week because they want me to wait until their video is done. But I also have another video coming out on Saturday as usual, and the normal stream on Sunday, so maybe I'll see you guys there. And anyway, how do we get this game? This game is on Steam. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I don't know if it's on any other platforms. I imagine it could work on mobile. I'm not really sure, but I've never seen it there. So I think it's just on Steam. And let's let's go ahead and bring it up. I'll bring up Steam. And we'll go to here and share my screen. Boom. So here's Steam. And okay, Steam's gonna move. So learn Japanese. Nope. Learn Japanese to survive. So each game is about the kanji one is nine dollars USD. The hiragana one is seven dollars. Katakana one is seven dollars. The whole trilogy is twenty dollars. And then there's like flashcards and study guides and stuff. I just got, I just got the, I just got the whole series because I wasn't sure what people were gonna want me to play but the, they went with kanji. Yes, Steam is a, it's a website, but it's also like an application for the computer that, it's basically like a one-stop shop for games. So any, like just thousands of games and you download them in Steam and then Steam sort of tracks, like here's all my games that I've bought over probably 10 years. 10 years worth of games are just here and all your save data and stuff is saved online so that if I my computer dies or I get a new computer I don't have to start all over again all my information is just there this is the game I obviously play the most 878 hours way too much mm. but yeah so it's just like a it's a game application so anyway yeah, Japanese to survive there's other games I guess for learning Japanese too maybe I'll do them again someday if this series works out but we'll see they have a lot of free stuff as well, but most cost a little, or a lot. Yes, there's a lot of free stuff, actually. Um, but most of it you have to buy. They're like, you know, they're AAA games and stuff. You just go to the main store featured page. You've got Age of Empires. Why is Age of Empires a thing again? Yu-Gi-Oh! Railroad, Neverwinter, whatever that is. Grand Theft Auto, Dragon Quest Builder, Black Desert. You know, just normal games. But anyway... That's Steam. No problem. Thanks, I don't play video games, but I'd be interested in something if it helps me study Japanese. No problem. Yeah. And I'm going to keep playing this one and, you know, just see what I think about it. I'll probably develop an opinion over time. Uh, at the moment, I think there's way too much dialogue and not enough time actually playing the game. But it's kind of fun. I enjoyed it more than I expected for two hours. So it's kind of neat. I'm going to keep playing and see what happens. And maybe I'll do a review video using all the footage from these streams but we'll see anyway have a great night guys thanks for being here and i'll see you next time thanks again hit the like button if you liked it or didn't like it or whatever and yeah subscribe if you haven't subscribed or anything booms bananas for everyone yuki is fast asleep <laughs> all right good night guys later